Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Studio and to do a quick video to share with you that free text exclusion effect that we just added to a free starter pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, you can load the free starter pack by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the TRFX file and the font. If you've already installed the free starter pack in the past, no need to reinstall the font. But if that's the first time you're installing the free starter pack, make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work because DaVinci doesn't know what font to use or replace it with. So we'll get a black screen. So make sure to install all the font, that's very important. Just select all the font and then you can just double click on them to start the installation process or you can just drag them directly to your font folder. Once that's done, you can go over to the TRFX file and double click on it to start the installation process. If you've already installed the free starter pack in the past, it will just ask you to overwrite to basically update it. Otherwise, it will just offer you to install it. So just select that and then you can go over to DaVinci Resolve. All right, so once you're in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, then Effect, and you can go down to Free Starter Pack 2.0 and you will find the exclusion effect. Please make sure that you are in the Effect tab and not the Title tab. I'm gonna show you in a second why uh, we did that. So here I'm just gonna drag a clip in our timeline. And as you can see, when I'm gonna try to drag it, it's an effect, so it's not gonna be applied the same way as the title. It's not gonna be able to be outside of the clip. We're gonna need to apply it on the clip. We needed to do that because here, when I play it, as you can see, we're basically using uh, the clip source. It's not something that is generated outside of the clip. We're using the clip source to generate the styling of the text. So we're having some sort of negative film look um, that is using the actual movement of the text inside the filling of the text. So I think that's quite cool and quite interesting in terms of look. So now let's just see how to use it and what you can do with it uh, in the inspector right here. First off, we have the animation in length. So by default, it's one second, but you can choose to have it slightly longer uh, by here, for example, selecting two, three or four seconds and the animation will take just as much as you decided um, to happen. Then you can choose also between different kind of animation. Right now, animation in, we have left to right, but you, you can choose to have, for example, here inside out. It's basically uh, some follower uh, animation that we've just bring here uh, directly to the inspector. Then we've also give you access to the curve. So if you know what to do with the curve, you can just play around and change the curve, which will change also the style of animation. Then next one here, we have the media size and position. So you can basically change the overall size of the media in the background and you can change that position right here. If you want to reset any parameter to the default parameter, you can always double click on it and it will just reset the value to the default value of set parameter. Then here, the next dropdown, we have the text. You can change that to whatever text you would like. And you can also play around here with the font, the size, the tracking, something like that. I think sometimes uh, increasing the tracking can be quite good. And then here we can increase the size as well. You can choose to have it fill or you can choose to have an outline. There is really no limitation on the text adjustment that you can do for that. Then we also have the glow. So here by default, it's already activated, but you can increase it by here increasing the gain value, for example, or the threshold value. You can also just remove it entirely by reducing the gain and the threshold. But I think that effect is working better uh, when there is a slight glow on it. You can play also around with the glow size to have more spread on that glow or to reduce the glow size to have the glow more concentrated on the text. You can adjust the overall strength of that effect by playing around with the blend. If you reach the blend, as you can see, the effect is going to be uh, less prominent and then you can just uh, increase it to the maximum if you want. And that's pretty much it. I hope you'll enjoy that effect. Please let me know in the comment what kind of effect or title we should create next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.